Hey guys, this is Bob. Well, I uh, want to come here and let you guys know that I did uh, receive your messages and your phone calls. Uh, a lot of you yesterday sent me panic messages about the bombing in Boston. And uh, I was out of the office. I actually took a day off. Yeah, even Psychic Bob takes a day off. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't here to, to talk to you guys or to, to respond. So today, I just wanted to come and, and uh, share some thoughts with all of you. First of all, I want to say um, from my heart, my condolences to all of those who have suffered through this tragedy, for the runners who were injured, for the runners who were just there and saw the terror, for the families, uh, those who have lost loved ones and those who have died. I send my heartfelt con you know, prayers and sympathies to all of you. Um, you're in my prayers. And I tell you, I... Uh, I was just devastated when I, I saw this. Uh, it's horrible. A lot of you have been writing and you're scared. You're saying, oh my God, Bob, what's going to happen? Well, you know, right now it's not time to speculate about what's going to happen. It's a time for us just to gather ourselves together, go within, and again, remember as I always teach, find that light within. Because as we find that light within, we connect back to our source and that's where all light, all life, all healing really start from. You know, I know some of you have written, you said, Bob, I'm losing faith in God. I can't believe I saw this. I hate God. God should have not let that happen. Well, first of all, I want to say I understand your fear and your anger. Uh, you know, these things, they don't make sense to us as earthly people. It seems tragic. And you can even be angry at God. I think God's big enough to take your anger. But when you get done being angry, I want you just to kind of consider something that um, God didn't create this. This is not a divine judgment or a vindication. The Spirit doesn't work like that. This is about people who made bad choices, terrible choices with terrible consequences. You know, when we come to earth, our spirit people always tell us, they say, when you enter the earth realm, people have free will there, and we will not intervene. So our free will can be used to do good, or it can be used to do evil. And when we see events like yesterday, I want you guys to stop and say to yourselves, this is an example of somebody or a group of people who use their free will to do evil. You see, that same free will can do good. I mean, let's look at like examples like Mother Teresa in India. You know, she used her free will to go among the poor, to feed them, clothe them, give them medicines. This is somebody who used their free will to bring healing and life to people. And we all have to think about that. You know, where are we on our journey, you know? I understand people saying, you know, God should have stopped that. But remember, God gave us this gift of free will. And we're going to either use it to do good or to do evil. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people right now choosing to do evil, such as the terrorists uh, and those responsible for the bombing. Don't ever let somebody's evil action, though, make you stop having faith in the good within and the good in people, because there's still good in this world. I want all of you today just to be calm. And I want you to just meditate and pray. In fact, I want us to just do a brief meditation. So would you just kind of join with me here? Let's just stop. Let's just close our eyes for a minute. And as we close our eyes, I want you just to look inside of yourself. And there's a beautiful spark of light right in the middle of your chest area, a beautiful spark of white light. Try to see that light expand and to be a glowing cloud of light. Let that light now just expand rapidly to where it fills the entire body. Fill it as it rises up into your shoulders and up into your head and it cascades down your arms and moves down your back, down to your hips and your legs and down to your feet. Let yourself be infused in that light. This light is the light of divine protection. In this light you need not have fear. 
While we're in the light, let us offer a prayer. We ask the divine to pour its blessing upon those who are suffering. Let the people of Boston, the people of the Marathon, the families, let them have peace this day. Let us unite our spirits for those of us who are strong and well to send some of our light to them for those who are weak. We send this light in the light of God's love and we ask blessing and healing and safety for all involved in this. So mote it be. Amen. You see, it's not hard. It doesn't take a lot of time. But a little bit of effort can go a long way. If all of us here at Spirit Channel practice this regularly, we can start to be a force of healing in the world. You know, speaking as a psychic, I, um, I'm not seeing any further attacks coming. So let's keep our fingers crossed and keep our lights strong. But I want you to know that we're all together at times like this. And if you're somebody who was there at the marathon, it's okay to seek help. Maybe you want to visit a counselor, a uh, grief counselor. Some of you may even say, well, Bob, I was there, but I'm not grieving. Yeah, you are. Anybody who was there is grieving because you experience trauma. So it's okay. You don't have to have had somebody die to have a grief counselor. Some of you have written to me and you said, Bob, I didn't, wasn't even there. I live in California, and uh, I'm crying. Why am I crying? You know why you're crying? You're crying because your heart has great love and great power and great empathy. And the truth is, spiritually, we're all connected. So the people that are suffering in Boston, their suffering is our suffering. And our love and empathy is their love and empathy. So we can kind of, in a sense, share this moment. As they suffer, we send healing to them. And we take some of their pain into ourselves so that their load is a little more bearable. Together we can get through this and we can work it out. Listen guys, just want you to know I'm with you, I'm praying for all of you, and we're going to see, as the President said, this brought to justice. My prayers are with all of you. God bless you. Keep it here at Spirit Channel. We're going to have, I promised you guys, a UFO video. We're going to have that later today. So check back here in a little while. Know for now I'm with you. I love you all. And I'm praying for you and for all the people of Boston, the families, everybody involved around the world in this. Blessings to all of you. We'll see you soon.